Bracing ourselves for the worst uh, towards the open, I wonder if we'd worked through the issues that European and US markets did overnight yesterday, and uh, in the end we came out well, marginally positive. James, it's really been a tug of war between the concerns that we are seeing in Spain at the moment and the numbers coming out of China. And in the end, it does look like China won. We saw the market up by 0.2%. And as you mentioned, we saw some extremely heavy falls, especially on European markets overnight. We saw the FTSE down by about 2%. And falls are between 2 to even more than 3% on European markets. So that we had been racing for quite an ugly day on the Aussie market. But we did see a gain of 0.2%. The real uh, boost for our market came after those China uh, HSE BC flash PMI numbers and those numbers were better than expected. So if we have a look at the impact on the market, it of course was mostly on the materials and the energy sector. If I just bring up the material sector intraday, this is what it looks like. And you can see at 12.30 once the numbers came out, we saw a boost and the material space continued to gain throughout the session. The same with the energy space, we saw a boost and we continue to see that gain throughout the session. Other sectors, we didn't see much of an impact, but with the uh, materials and the energy sector being so much much of the Australian market that really helped to turn around our market in fact if we have a look at some of the other sectors uh, for example the industrial sector intraday this is what it looks like you can see a small boost at 1230 but in the end are uh, finishing down lower uh, than before those uh, after those manufacturing numbers and also at the consumer discretionary level this is at intraday and you can see that the the discretionary sector really fell into the numbers and then never really recovered throughout the rest of the day. So it really was the energy and the materials plays which outperformed on this market. And I guess in this type of market, you expect to see um, most stocks falling, but we all also saw some 52-week highs for stock. We saw Dexas as well as Woolworths reaching a 52-week high in terms of price today. So it does look like investors still piling into some of those safe, safe or defensive areas such as property and such as staples talk about a lot but it's it's because people keep going there I mean the, the defensive plays are they looking too expensive now I mean do you do you expect to see them to be to continue to if you like hit 52 week highs some of them I don't think investors care whether something looks <laughs> expensive or not at the moment and that was clearly seen through the US Treasury yields which yeah. reached a low again overnight what they're what they're looking for is not so much return but safety from the storm and that's really what's uh, dictating I guess investor flows at the moment and we certainly saw that overnight Part of the problem is that I guess a lot of the market has fatigue over the European debt situation. We've been speaking about it for so long now and the temptation is just to stick uh, our heads in the sand and just hope it will go away. But we, di we, we are seeing an escalation of these events in Spain. We saw the 10-year yields at 7.59% overnight and the two-year yields at 6.62% overnight. And that really signals that Spain is being locked out of the capital markets. It doesn't have access to capital. And that's really why um, I guess a lot of people are calling uh, are saying that Spain is going to be calling for a bailout because it needs funds, it can't get access to funds through the market, so it's probably going to have to tap uh, the European stability uh, mechanism to uh, gain access to those funds. So we have been talking about it for a long time, but the fact is that overnight we did see um, some of those fears once again heighten. Investors looking for security, safe haven plays rather than actual value. So it isn't fundamentals dictating investor flows, um, but long term I guess we will return to those fundamentals. However, in the short term what is dictating those flows are these macro events and I guess investors still need to be aware of the, the risks of these macro events even though fundamentals are looking like good value. Julie, in, in terms